Hello and welcome to another review. This is for the Wi-Fi Smart Power Strip Surge Protector by Pinlu. And uh, it works with both Amazon Alexa, which I don't have any, and uh, Google Home Assistant, which I have many. I am looking at three Google Homes right now and I have five in my house. Um, a lot of these uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi Internet of Things things that are showing up on Amazon, they all work with Alexa. There must be some internal push to merchandisers or something to really get a lot of Alexa support. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of home assistant support for, you know, Google. And that's a shame because that's all I have, like I said. And so this working with that is going to be great. There's no intermediary system I need, like, if this then that to run things to it, although I will be testing that. Um, like I said, I mean, I haven't tested this yet, so we'll be doing this together. I might as well uh, get started with the unboxing and we can install the application and give it a few test runs and then, um, yeah, see what else it can do. Let's get started. So I guess it's customary to just go around the edge of the box. Um, you can see there's some basic information. It works on 110 and 220 volt systems. On the back here, we've got some other specs as well. So it has four USB ports. It's rated for 100, <laughs> wait, sorry, 1,250 watts, which is massive. I don't think I'm going to be running any router tables or miter saws off this, but maybe I could <laughs> if I wanted an Internet of Things miter saw. It's possibly and incredibly dangerous. Um, <laughs> Versatile protection on all outlets, so I'm assuming they're just speaking about the surge protector aspect. Um, compact design, lightweight and portable, <clears throat> in case you want to move it around. Uh, neatly arranged plug-in and ports, which is true. This thing looks great. I want to keep it on um, my desktop at home in my office. I'd like it for uh, controlling like my lights and other things I want to plug in there. <clears throat> um, let's see includes built-in five-foot cord, which is excellent as well. It's not a dinky little short cord, which can really put a damper on premium products having a short cord. So five feet, that's almost as tall as I am. That's pretty good. Uh, do 12-month warranty and lifetime technical support, which is good for things of this nature if you're not familiar with troubleshooting. Um, the radio protocol is Wi-Fi. It uses 2.4 gigahertz. Not a problem. In fact, I, I still don't see many 5 gigahertz routers um, on the market, and if they are 5 gigahertz, they typically run a 2.4 gigahertz single signal anyway. So uh, then we have some dimensions, which is not too important. So let's just hurry up and get in this thing. Come on, I'm excited. Okay, so I've already opened it up, I'm not going to lie to you, and the first thing I saw was whew, this <laughs> huge instruction manual, double-sided, English. Wow, okay, well, I like having information um, running with this product, and to be fair, a lot of these screenshots are how to get it to work with either Google Home Assistant or Alexa. Um, the rest is kind of just like using the Jinvu app that Pinlu is recommending here. Um, so I will read those in my own time and get it set up later so we can use it together, but um, otherwise, what's in the box here? Um, this and a piece of cardboard, I don't know. Uh, the main thing here, whoo, is the power strip itself. And I'm not sure if it comes in other colors or not, but it is six rubber feet. It's a pretty good weight. I can see that sitting nicely on my desktop very well. Um, a power button, and uh, I assume these are LED indicators. I think I remember that from the, the product page and um, yeah there's really not too much more to say it looks like there's a protector on the end here to keep these from corroding during storage and shipping um, but yeah let me go ahead and install the application and set it up and I can show you how it works alright guys so this is crazy but I've set up a few Internet of Things products and a lot of them are the you would call like the US company you know premium products that you spend a lot of money on this went so much faster. I, I should have recorded it. Um, I opened up the Jinvu app, I typed in my Wi-Fi's password, and it just worked. It was less than a minute. Uh, it just worked. All the lights came on, then they went off. Uh, it just indicated that it was on. Really impressed. Um, I haven't tested it out yet. I did the USB ports. So I'm excited to do the other ones. I did hear the relays clicking this thing. They're, you can hear them. They're pretty beefy. Um, so I'm going to turn off the USB ports. You can see there's this little red LED. 
and it's off. Look how quick that is. It's almost instantaneous. So I'm going to turn that off just to prove to you that it's doing something. Actually, this isn't going to prove too much if you can't see my screen, but the little LED is there and we're charging. And I think it is 2.1 amps, so you'll have that quick charge capability. So it'll step up that voltage until your phone says, ah, that's my max, and that means your phone is going to charge really quick on that thing. Um, I think the outlets have the beefy relays, that's what I heard. There we go. Hear that? I am absolutely elated with how quick this is. Incredible. I'm going to disconnect from Wi-Fi and see how fast it is. I get terrible reception where I live, so I'm going to see how fast this works. Guys, I think I'm in love. <laughs> 30 bucks for this? Oh my god, this is amazing. I could power lights and fans and humidifiers. Incredible. Um, so I'm going to take some time to rename these slots and I'm going to see if I can get it working with my Google Home over there. So stick around, I'll be right back. Alright, so that was really painless guys too. I opened up Google Home. Um, I added the device. There was a Jinvu. I just inst or logged in as my Jinvu account that I set up and uh, it's set up. It's currently named Smart Power Bar. So I've never actually used Google Home on a smart outlet, but it looks like Google Home is giving me some insights saying you're all set. You can say turn off the smart power bar. Uh, okay, so hey Google, max volume please. Uh, and then let's say, hey Google, could you turn all the outlets on on the smart power bar? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Hey Google, turn on everything. Sure, turning the smart power bar on. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey Google, turn off everything. You got it, turning off the smart power bar. I, I don't know what else to say guys. I'm in shock. This is amazing. Hey Google, turn the USB ports on on the smart power bar. Sorry, I don't understand. Never mind. Hey Google, turn everything on. Okay, turning the smart power bar on. <laughs> oh, I am going to have a lot of fun with this, guys. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, this works quickly over whether it's your Wi-Fi, whether it's LTE, whether it's 4G or 3G, it was on there for a second. Uh, it works without delay. It works with Google Home Assistant flawlessly. Um, I assume Alexa works with it as well. Uh, you have a manual control here. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed by a product like this, and it, it, it just opens up such a world of possibilities. I mean, this is such an affordable product. There's no subscription fees of any sort. Um, absolutely incredible. Definitely five stars. Um, I'd recommend this to anyone. Um, in fact, I'm, I think I'm going to buy some more for Christmas gifts uh, if I see them go on sale because this, this really is an incredible product. The only possible downsides, and I try to come up with at least some for every product, even if I love it, um, are two things. And that would be maybe not turning this light off. I haven't found a way to turn this off. If not, you know, electrical tape. And then on the back, there's no mounting brackets. There's no, like, holes. But that's literally it. I mean, it wasn't advertised to be mountable on a wall, which is not really important at all. It was, it was advertised to work extremely well uh, and have all these ports quickly be able to turn on and off. Long story short, I could go on for, for forever. I can't wait to show this off. Um, some of my friends, and especially my girlfriend, maybe I'll freak her out and just... Uh, Say, hey Google, turn everything off. Okay, turning the smart power bar off. <laughs> I love it. I'll never get tired of that. Um, anyway, guys, if you like this review, if you have any questions for me, um, I'd love to help you out. Um, I'm sure I'll be using this on the daily, so if I can give you any pointers or anything, just let me know. Drop a comment down below. I absolutely love to hear feedback. 
and check it out. It's the Smart Power Bar by mm. Pinlu. Happy Amazoning. Peace.